this right here that we're watching, this is a Lake Borum in Utah. And it's not far from where I live. I've been watching these eagles for two days and I come here and I watch them with binoculars. What you're looking at right now is eagles, bald eagles, very beautiful, very majestic, and vultures, uh, not so beautiful, not so majestic. Right here, this is geese, and the geese have their babies. And yesterday, the adult geese were on the right side and the babies on the left, but today they've switched. The adults are on the left and the babies are on the right. And what takes place is the eagles, the bald eagles and the vultures, will fly from here over to here. They will kill the babies and then they take the babies and they fly back over here and they feast. The vultures will come in and try to get the baby geese from the eagles and usually two or more eagles will team up on a vulture and scare it away. And then the two eagles that scared away the vulture will fight each other. And whichever one wins will eat the baby geese. So it's kind of interesting. This has been playing out for two days. When I first saw it, I watched and I thought they were catching fish. Because as you can see, there's a break in the ice. But when I brought out the binoculars and I watched it more closely, uh, it's not fish. It's baby geese that they're eating. And the camera probably doesn't pick it up. But right about right in there where you see the eagles, there is a massive pile of feathers from all the geese they've killed. In fact, there's so many feathers that when you're watching with binoculars and they swoop down, feathers blow all over in the air. It's uh, rather neat to watch. There we got some of the geese taken off. And I think what happens as I've watched, but it's hard to tell, but the geese will stay put right here and as you can see, the bigger birds on the left, that's the adults. The smaller birds on the right, that's the babies. But when the eagles come and they take away the babies, I'll notice shortly after that, some of the geese will fly away. And I think what's happening is, is that's the, that was their kids, their babies that were killed, so they no longer need to stay put. And that's why they fly away, but that's my theory. But it's really interesting. And I've never in my life seen this many bald eagles together. Yesterday I counted about 20. There was about 20 bald eagles and maybe 10 vultures. But there appears to be a little less today. I think the geese can't escape. I think their babies uh, either can't outfly the eagles, or I'm really not sure why they would stay put and day after day just to be eaten by the eagles.
came on a hill hoping to get maybe a, a different vantage point, a different angle. I know uh, ever since I was a child, I love the outdoors. I love wildlife. I love nature. And something like this, this is a little gruesome, but it's nature, it's natural. And it's right in our backyards, which to me makes it even more special than, say, watching it unfold on National Geographic or the Discovery Channel. And I think things like this happen a lot and we just don't realize it. 